So, eto ole. Here we go. So, I think you already know now na these five divisions here are going to be where the toes are going to be extruded from. Ayan, di ba? Yung five divisions na yan. Na ngayon, aayusin natin. Um, before we do so, syempre, tignan muna natin maigi itong location ng mga polygon, such as itong side na ito. Um, I think I really need to pull it out. Dito, one, two, three, four. And then dito, yan. Ah, di ba? There. I'll just use my R to scale it para mag-flatten muna siya. Because we are more comfortable looking at it first na, let's say, aligned and flat. Bago tayo mag-detail. So let's say, dito sa part na yan, aside siya. And then pagdating ngayon sa likod, the vertices at the back, yan ngayon yung aking i sa side. Let's say, uh, you know, there. Doon siya ngayon nag-fall. Ayan, let's say, ito ngayon, I think this is too high. Di ba? So, I can drag this down. Isa-select ko yan. Tsaka ito, I'll just scale that down a bit. W for the toes. Let's say there. Ayan, pantay, pantay pa rin ang sila. Next is ito. I think this is going to be the pinky. Uh, ito, no? Itong tone na ito yung pinky. So I can select the edge here. Drag this. Maliit lamang si pinky toe. That's the one there. Nakalalagyan niya. Tapos, ito yung second toe or toe next to the pinky. I am looking here na no, for the subdivision. Oh, ito. Yeah. And then ito here. I'll just drag it. Pasok mang konting ganyan. And then this. Ayan, I'm selecting. Looking at the, this area again. Ayan. So with that division, I am now able to ayan, start or I am now able to see na ah. These are how big the toes are going to be or will be adjusted accordingly. Pero parang malaki pa itong nasa gitna. Yeah. Ah, diba? Ito syempre ang pinakamalaki. Ito yung ating toe thumb. Si toe thumb, ayan siya. So I can drag it to the left ng konti. And then I can select the edge of the toe thumb to further be a bit bigger. Then yung mismong dito sa outer portions ni toe thumb, I can also adjust that. Ayan. Next is, let's say, yung ilalim ng paa. I can also adjust this a bit. Isa-select ko, for example, ito, saka ito, saka ito. I can drag them Ayan. to make them rounder ng konti, Ayan. to have them rounded. And then ito, I'll push it inwards a bit more. Ayan. Ayan. I am pressing number three. O, di ba? Para medyo mas kumorte yung paa. Then let's say, um, this is for a barefooted character, for example. If I am going to that direction, kunyari may giging barefooted ng konti yung character. So I'm just trying to push some dents doon sa footing niya. Ariba? And then border here. 
just merely suggestions of the shaping out of the foot. Adiba? Yeah. And with that, uh, let's say ito naman, the blade of the foot, he expand ko ng konte by just dragging the vertices. Ayan. It's a bit rounded na rin. Round na round. That's nice. And Drag and drag. Ayan, ano. So, I am modeling on high poly mode view. Uh, hindi siya high poly. Nakalow poly lamang siya. So, mag-iiba talaga ang itsura niya when I press back number 1 or number 2. Ngayon, for you to not be confused, ayan, ano, you can adjust it in level 2 or number 2 mode wherein you have the high poly and the base mesh view. And baka kasi mamaya, after you've done tweaking vertices on the level 3 or high poly mode, bigla kang mag-switch sa 1 and you'll be surprised na ay, ganun na pala itsura niya. Pero don't panic about it kasi it will just appear fine pagka sinabdivide na siya. Now with that, let us start extruding out. Oh, ayan na no. Let us start extruding out our character's toes. Um, ganito gawin natin. Saving my work. Pressing 1. Ayan na siya. Mm -hmm. So, ang gagawin ko lamang dito is, uh, first off, I'll just select. Uh, the edges here. Ah, sorry, the polygons. I'm on polygon selection mode. And then, syempre, let's just start extruding. Extrude there. Mm. And then, after you have done the extrusion, diba? Um, you can do this. Shift and right click. And then you can also choose circularize components. Oh, may circularize then pagdating sa polygon selection. Yes. Earlier, I have done circularizing with the edge selection. Dito, I am selecting my polygon or face selection. And then shift right click, circularize components. They will do a circle. I'll press W for move tool. And then I'll just go to the front view. And medyo na ikot. Adiba, umikot yung aking polygon. So I would like sana to slightly adjust it. I-rotate ko siya ng konti. Yan. There. So from there, wala namang nangyari. Just had it circularize. Naiikot ko lamang siya. Because the next thing that I will do now is to extrude another set. Pero before I do that, punta ako sa my side view. Dito. And then I'll just do a scale. R, konte, W, shift click drag. Let's say magi extrude ako ng three times or four times. Yeah. And then from here, I will switch to my vertex selection. 
I'll, uh, sorry, vertex selection. I'll select these two polygons going there, slightly have this bent, pushing it back a bit, and then pushing this. Ito yung pinaka bent ng toes. There. And then one last polygon extrude. That's it. W for move tool. Edge selection. Uh, adjust ko ngayon to ng konti to point it out like that. To make it appear as if it is a toe. Ayan. And then I will select polygon selection. And slightly use my scale tool to resize the tip. Ayan. And also the other part, oops, sorry, the other parts of this toe, such as this one. I can there narrow that down for the toe to be more convincing. Ayan. Ayan. Um, left view, it's a bit appearing to be long. So let's just scale it to squeeze it in a bit. W to push it back in. Oh, yeah. There. Oliver. Next thing. Go to edges and then drag. I am. Ariba, to have that rounded, that portion. Mm. Um, I think masyadong mataas ito. Drag it down ng konti. Yeah. There. So, so far, that's the toe. And then let's say, let's repeat the next. Let's repeat it. The procedure will just always be the same with this. Uh, so, ganito gawin natin. Sir, sabi mo, it is going to be the same. Diba? So that means I will just do another extrusion. Yes. You can do an extrusion, this time a longer one. Let's say that. That's the longer extrusion that you can do. So let's review again. Doon sa ating Jamboard, for example. So we just extruded to create polygons. And the next thing is we will subdivide. So punta tayo. I will now go to my edges, select this, double click, na select yun pa ikot. And the next thing that I will do is I'll do a connect. With regards to the connection, I will need one, two, three. I'll just choose three connection. Ayan. W for the move tool. And then from here, we can start. Um, yung iba sa sabihin, sir, paano mo si circularize yan? Well, I guess the answer is obvious. With the selected edges on, I can just do a simple shift, click and drag, circularize, and it's done. W for move, polygon selection, select this guy, shift, click and drag, circularize. W for move. And then we start. Oops. Um, sorry for that. Uh, sir, paano yan? Nakatabingi sila. Okay. So this is what I'll do. Um, I will just start selecting the other polygons. 
And let's do it this way. I'll select this, this, oops, select this, this, this. Control, click IU. So with all of those toe portions selected, let me just deselect this. Uh, tapos nun, I'll just E to rotate. And yeah. After the rotation is on, R to scale. Let's thin this a bit. Uh, just like an actual toe. Ties related to the toe thumb. Yeah. Hmm. Next thing. Edge selection, W for move here. There it is. And then I'll just select this, move it a bit closer to the base of the foot. This one here, almost the same. And then this one here. Now allowing me to select this face set and going here, pushing it back. Um, let us drag this down. Yeah, this is the nail area, the toenail area. And this is the bent area uh, there so far. Then let's squeeze some vertices and edges. Control click. Or vertices R there slightly ever so slightly and then this one and this one. Mm -hmm. Edges. Yeah. There. Pressing three. Oops. Wireframe on. Oh, yeah. But so far. That's the footing. Diba? So obviously, the next thing that we will do is just clone copying. Sir, what if wala pong daliri dun sa reference? Gagawan pa rin po ba? Um, Miss Angel, I think I already mentioned earlier no, that the foot is optional. Yeah, the foot toes are going to be optional. If you prefer to do the footwear base, which I have done earlier, you can go with that. Or if you would like to have toes for your character, you can follow also this. Okay? Yeah. So next thing is I will need to do a clone copy, shift click drag, of this, and then what I'll do is I'll just select this portion. Um, let's say, let me select this and delete them. Ah, diba? Just like what I did earlier, I selected a portion to detach my target polygon. I'll double click this now and delete the rest of it. And now I can also delete these portions that I don't need no? because the obvious thing is I will now just duplicate this for the rest or for the remaining of the other toes. So what I'll do is I will just go to my tools, reset tool. 
reset there it's back at the middle of the object next is i'll just push this back and then i will just be scaling it according press r and then i'll just do a scale here oops yeah something like that Ariba, w And then I can hold shift, click, drag, do another scale. And finally, for the pinky. Yum. That's it. So what is going to be next? Next is we can now, I know, what do you think? How can I put these toes onto my object here? Pano, uh, to the main body. Merge. Very good. Pero you step, you skip one. Command, bago mag-merge. Ano yun? Sa so, nakakaalala. Delete faces. Before that, combine. Thank you, John. It's combine. So, select ko ngayon the whole body mesh. And then, I'll select the rest of these toe meshes. Let us choose Mesh, combine. They are now together. Thank you. And then yung mention ni Mr. Dungo. Delete the faces. So I will delete these faces that are in the way. So I can select this and delete. I can select this and delete. Let us just select and delete. So what is next? We can merge, di ba? Merge. Yun, that's nice. Thank you, Mr. Ditching. Another option for merging or aside from merging, Another option for the subdivision, or sorry, extrude command, I, the bridge. Sir, extrude command ba ang bridge? Yes, you are extruding by edges. Look, I can select an edge, just to prove to you, I can select an edge, hold shift, and drag it along an axis, and it will produce a polygon. That is what you call extrude edge. Okay? I'll delete that. Oops, sorry. Ayan. Ngayon, I'll do the bridge. Diba? Pero before doing so, let me arrange first the foot. I'll go to the top view. So, I'll go to panels, orthography. And then I'll just choose top view for now. Ayan siya. So in the top view, they seem to be fine. Polygons. Now, I'm going to here. Ayan. 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 There. So from here, class, it's time to bridge. 
So I will just do this. Oh, I will go to my um, edge selection. So from here, I will just select this. Ito, the bridge ko, this top edge, oops, sorry, ito, this top edge, I'm going to bridge it with this one. Let's use the bridge. Bridge, tapos, W for me. And then underneath, I'll do another, select and select, bridge. W for move. And then I can bridge it also here. Bridge. And then here and here, bridge. Sir, ano nangyayari dyan? It's just a material error. You can select the whole thing. Shift, right click. Oh, sorry. Right click. Assign existing material. Lambert. Ayun. So it's just that. Tapos nun. Let's go back. I'll just repeat. Select edge bridge. Oops, sorry. Bridge and then here bridge. Bridge. Sir Panato, how are these openings going to be treated? Yeah, yung mga openings na. Uh, such as that. So you can easily go for target welds on this. So gawin natin, let's try. Doon pala sa kabila, ano, I should have gone for a target weld. No? So let's do that. Sorry. I'll just go for a target weld. Okay, next is this. And next is this. Now, another for the bridge is also, ayan, nakita nyo, target weld. I can also go directly for a target weld for the painting. Then turn that target weld off, edges, just a little roundness. We'll do. There. And then, last but not the least, let's try this a bit. There, you know. So there's the foot. 
Now, if I will press number three, ayan na siya so far. There's still some editing to be done, pero the base toes are already here. Andya dyan na siya. Ano ba? I have a base toe now and a knee base. Yan. No? Ang susunod ko ngayong gagawin is, of course, I will do a clone copy. I will just do another clone copy. So where's the last one? Shift H. Ayun siya. The footwear. So ito ngayon, I'll just shift click and drag. Ito ngayon si base mesh. Ah, sorry. Ito na pala si Urig. Sorry. Urig base 4. Ah, footwear. Then ito, ito ang foot and toes. Sorry for that. Ayan. Then, ito ngayon, ito yung aking original base. Diba? So now I have these in-file backups. Shift H, Shift H. Diba? So nakikita ninyo dito class, yung progress mismo ng work mo. Base mesh, and then you have your D box legs, and then you have your foot wear, and now you have your foot toes. Adiba? So let's select all of these, control H and hide them. Pagkatapos ko silang mai hide, susunod kung gaga when is, I'll just go to my Edit, delete by type history, edit, delete all by type history. Let me check. Nabura naman. Let me check sa attributes. Nabura din lahat. Saving my work. Deleting the excess objects. So, ito ang aking object or original base. Let me just remove that number four. Ayan. So, next is, ang gagawin ko, I'll go to File. And then, I will just choose Save As. Pupunta uli ako sa desktop, pupunta ako sa aking base mesh, the same folder that I have, and maglalagay ako ngayon dito, base mesh ito, no? Yes. Then dito, ilalagay ko ngayon si level 2. And then I'll just save. So, understood na si base mesh level 2 ko is my backup for the legs and footwear. Yun ang aking base mesh level 2. Si level 1, ito lang. Pero hindi pa detailed yung legs. Si level 2, detailed na yung legs, meron pa akong footwear. Yan. So, okay na yan. I have this backup ready. I'll just go to File, Save As uli, para lang hindi na ako magbubukas. Malilito. Base Mesh Original. Yeah. With that class, 
tapos na. 